Hi, what's up, guys? Welcome to Young Family in our YouTube channel. Today is November 28th, 2022. In today's video, I'm going to update you guys my front yard citrus tree root stock because it bears lemons which are ripe to pick. Stay tuned. There is one citrus tree which is planted in our front yard. One year ago, when we moved right here, unfortunately, we cannot find any fruits on this citrus tree. I cannot even find pedicels on this citrus tree. Something wrong. Weird. Later, finally, I figured out my previous owner purchased and planted this citrus tree in the front yard. But unfortunately, they didn't know too much about grafted citrus tree. The rootstock overtook sign wood. So right now, the rootstock already turned into a big citrus tree. So that's why this citrus tree does not produce a lot of fruits. Even though that time, this citrus tree is really big, pretty healthy, a lot of foliage. Actually, to be honest, at that time, I was really struggled with this citrus tree because I don't know what should I do with this citrus tree kind of this citrus tree is useless so basically i have two options option one just cut off this citrus tree dig out the stem and remove all the roots then replant a new fruit tree right here option two because this citrus tree is well established citrus tree it has a very good root system so basically i can use this citrus tree as a root stock basically a lot of branches at that time so i can use all the branches as root stock to graft some other different species of cultivars citrus fortunately at that time i made a right decision i decided to keep this citrus tree and use this citrus tree as a root stock to graft some other different species or cultivar citrus in springtime this year I successfully grafted eight different species or cultivar citrus on this citrus tree. So I can say this is eight in one cocktail or salad citrus tree. Actually last month I grafted six other different species or variety of citrus on this citrus tree. That's why you still can see some paperbacks on this citrus tree. I have been monitoring the sign woods. Actually most of the sign woods still keep green. So they are going to survive, no problem. So right now I already turned this citrus tree into 14 in 1 cocktail or salad citrus tree. So if I count original grafted lemons on this citrus tree, so basically this citrus tree should be called 15 in 1 cocktail citrus tree. But in today's video, I'm not going to focus on this topic. If you are interested in this citrus tree, if you really want to know how to create a cocktail citrus tree using grafting technique you can go back check out my youtube channel i have two specific playlists one is a citrus tree propagation and care the other one is grafting technique you can click the link down below or just click the link on the top right screen and watch later now let's focus on the lemon fruits which is produced by this citrus rootstock so you can see here this lemon, it's kind of size, it's medium size. The skin is kind of like pretty rough, not smooth. So here you can see two others right here. This is one, this is another one, it's over there. So this side I have three lemon fruits. I have two others on the other side and check out right here. To others so let's get a ladder we can take a close look at the lemons so guys check out right here there's two lemon fruits right here you see here the shape does not look good actually I just mentioned you know the skin is really really rough and you can check out the branch the stem very long big very sharp the song you see here and also you can check out my grafted lemons you see some baby lemons on it nice right here you see some baby lemons 
on this grafted lemon branch. So now let's check out, uh, you know, the lemons original grafted on this root stock. So you can see this is a lemon. The size is small and the skin is pretty smooth. And it's kind of like a round, pretty kind of round. You can check out right here. They're still green, a little bit yellow color on this lemon. So we have two others. Actually, there's one already split. So I already just throw away right here. You can see two others right here. It's kind of pretty round, like a ball. You know, check out the skin. So I'm not sure exactly what kind of variety of this lemon. It's kind of a mild lemon. So I'm not sure exactly. Looks like mild lemon or improved mild lemon. If I'm not wrong, this lemon is mild lemon. Mild lemon is a cross between lemon and orange. So the flavor is kind of less acidic, a little bit sweet. So that's why mild lemon is very popular. So this citrus rootstock totally bear five lemon fruits. So I have no idea what kind of variety of this rootstock. So if I check this one kind of mild lemon, I once checked online, they said usually they use pound rosa lemon as a rootstock to graft mild lemon. So if we take a look at this lemon, so this lemon fruit, which is produced by the citrus rootstock, if this is a pound rosa lemon, which is kind of cross between lemon and the citron. So basically, the shape look like a citron, but it tastes like lemon. I'm not sure exactly. Later, I'm going to cut this one and uh, to check out inside. So guys, I'm going to cut this lemon to check inside. Ah, check out right here. You see, there's some seeds inside. And uh, the lemon rind, it is pretty thick. But if you check inside, kind of pretty juicy. So the seeds are pretty big, actually. So let me taste a little bit. <laughs> pretty sour. So actually pretty juicy. So anyway, you can see the seeds right here. So basically compared with some other citrus tree, rootstock citrus tree is kind of more tough. Usually they are cold and drawn resistant. So later I'm going to harvest all these seeds from lemon fruits. I'm going to use them to germinate and grow some citrus seedlings and use them as rootstock to graft some other different species or variety of citrus. So guys, if you like today's video, please subscribe, like, share, leave comments down below. See you next time. Thanks for watching.